Hello guys, on this episode, I will be pruning my Polyseas bonsai called 4D. Uh, I gave it a name 4D to easily identify my plants because when I am going to present this on YouTube, uh, I have to be specific which plant I'm talking about because I have several bonsai belonging in the same species. So it would be better if I gave them a name and I called it 4D because it it has four branches and the, the first time that I planted this on a pot was last year of March but this plant is already old and the, the trunks are quite thick already and it's just now that I'm going to properly prune it because before I just cut the leaves but never the roots and now I realize that there's a lot of things that is not right uh, with the way the root the root is looking right now so I'll be showing it to you today how I prune this plant okay the first thing that I did here was to cut the leaves underneath the the trunk because there's a lot of leaves and branches going underneath it and actually it helps to thicken the trunk but once your trunk is already thick uh, I think it's okay to remove it because it is nice to see the branches of a bonsai uh, to see it clearly and to see the, the the trunks well so you uh, you have to really cut it uh, if if the trunk is already thick enough so there's quite a lot on this plant that I have to remove that I remove And I needed a smaller scissor for this one because it has to be clean because if if it's not clean it will grow again but I guess even though you, you, you made a clean cut uh, with this type of plant uh, it still it finds a way to grow branches on that area I don't know with this PC uh, it loves to grow underneath the the trunk and That's the long scissors to reach the hard to reach area. I Recommend you guys to buy this type of uh, scissor because uh, Because you could reach the hard to reach areas with this type of scissor the, the long one it is a good idea that you have several type of scissors because uh, for specific purposes then after I cleaned the the branches underneath I started to trim the leaves on the middle layer and the upper I, I was removing the thick leaves because Usually thick leaves tends to cover the, the the smaller leaves so you have to make a balance and make everything uh, in the same size because if you have smaller leaves and and you have thick out uh, thick and big leaves on top then the sunlight could not reach the leaves under underneath and so the the leaves underneath tend to not grow so well they tend to yellow and they die and it's good that you although it's nice to see big leaves and it looks lush but it's not really good to have a, a bonsai with leaves that of various sizes so you have to make it the point to make sure that the leaves are all of the same size and also to make sure that the leaves are getting enough sunlight that all the leaves are 
are not discolored or if there's anything that is wrong with the other other parts of the branches that's why pruning is very important pruning is also good for making the tree healthy because uh, you make sure that the the plant is getting all the sun that all the parts of the the plant is getting the sun that it requires you, you know uh, leaves tend to be competitive <laughs> with one another you know there are leaves that are so vigorous that they block all the light so you have to cut those greedy leaves <laughs> I should call them greedy because they're not giving enough space for the others so yeah as a uh, so you have the power to uh, no, to, co to create balance for all the leaves so there I'm cutting the just making it clean I don't like uh, leaves or branches that is overlapping and at the same time uh, I try to cut it uh, I try to cut the the leaves uh, to a sm to a very small size, so there'll be enough room for them to grow in the future. I don't mind that they look uh, what do you call this. I don't mind them looking bald or how should I say it. I'm trying to to see if I should cut more to create a separation between the the branches so that's why I'm putting my fingers on the middle so there's n it is up to you how you would how you would want your bonsai to look there's no i don't think there's a wrong or right way of cutting this type of design of tree and like it's kind of freestyle it's up to you how you want your plant should look like I don't follow strict rules when it comes to pruning. I just go with my instinct or intuition as to how I want my plant to look. And then the next thing that I did after pruning the leaves is to prune the roots. I remove the plant from the soil but first you have to uh, no. you have to loosen up the edges so you could easily remove the plant from the pot yeah I was, I'm using my scissor to loosen up the soil on the edges Actually, it's very easy to pull out because the pot is very shallow. It's very easy to remove. Then I loosen up. I love using my hands when I when I do my gardening. I like the feel of the soil on my hand. So to loosen up the the soil, I just press it. I just press the soil. I don't use fork or the rake style of tool. 
just use my hand you get you get more control because when I use rig or a fork style uh, the, you tend to yank the some of the roots and there I clean it with water just to remove all the rest of the soil then there's this uh, root that is sticking out a dead root that I have to remove I am using this uh, I don't know what called it's a concave scissor when you use that but it doesn't fit properly so I use this other scissor instead because and then I use that I could reach it now because I removed the big part it's concave so it could make a clean cut there's no you have to make sure that there's no bump or any protruding wood so you have so that's why I was using that kind of uh, cutter uh, I forgot what its name but it's a it has a concave shape and then I am removing the re the other roots that are going downwards because the objective of this root pruning is to make sure that the roots are evenly spread out on a radial pattern, meaning the the roots are are circular going around the trunk. Uh, there are no roots going on the center and any roots that is crossing towards other direction I was removing it any like that one I was removing that one that thick one that goes straight in the middle of the pot so I had, I had to cut that then I used that concave scissor to make a clean cut to make sure there's no to make uh, to make sure there's nothing protruding on the on that area and just removing the other roots that are going in wild directions roots that are crisscrossing and I was removing it I was checking the bottom making sure that it's flat underneath I was cutting the the roots that I remove make sure that it's clean so after cutting that's all what it's left of the roots it's mostly on the side it, it was not growing radially so that's why most of the roots are on the side but anyway after that cut there will be roots going on the other direction soon so I have to place the plant back on the pot I put a screen in some soil I only I only use gardening soil I don't use 
any special soil for my plant it's okay to have soil that has a lot of moisture because you know with our weather water tends to dry fast and and water can evaporate evaporate fast in a very small container like a bonsai pot so I don't need to put um, sand or anything anyway I put fertilizer so I don't put compost already I was adding more soil because you my the old soil are are not enough because usually soil tends to go out of the pot when you give it water. They tend they tend to go out on the draining hole. I think I still left some leaves under the trunk area so the trunk would thicken more in the future. And they are just putting more soil. So here is the plant after I finish pruning the roots and everything. So the leaves are quite smaller now so they'll have enough room or space to grow. The roots are clean and uh, there's no more dead branches that was left over. You could see the branches well now because I removed the unnecessary leaves and branches could see the trunk clearly and the roots also uh, there's no dead roots already so that's it I hope you like my presentation and if you enjoy this video I hope you could subscribe and like it and until the next episode and see you soon goodbye